Super volcano stirs under millions in Italy. A super volcano that last erupted nearly 500 years ago is showing signs of reawakening. The Campi Frigre supervolcano lies beneath the Bay of Naples in southern Italy and contains 24 craters along with numerous geysers and vents. According to scientists, there has been a recent decrease in gas pressure at the supervolcano. There has also been a recent increase in the temperature of the supervolcano's hydrothermal reservoir. The combination of these two factors means the magma may be approaching critical degassing pressure, which could lead to volatility and even culminate in an eruption. Campi Frigre is Italian for burning fields. The supervolcano is eight miles wide and sits directly under more than half a million people. Campi Frigre spewed ash across Europe for eight consecutive days when it last erupted in 1538. The Italian government has raised the threat level of the supervolcano from green to yellow, meaning that it now requires scientific monitoring. Here's five more stories about volcanoes. Alaska's most active volcano looks poised to erupt. Experts warn that one of Alaska's most active volcanoes will be erupting soon. Warnings have been issued by the Alaska Volcano Observatory, an organization formed to study and monitor volcanic activity in the state. The Alaska Volcano Observatory has increased the alert level of Alaska's most active volcano, the Pavlov Volcano. The volcano erupted earlier this year, triggering a red alert, the highest of four levels. The latest Pavlov eruption in March sent an ash cloud as high as 37,000 feet into the atmosphere covering villages and producing volcanic mud and lava flows. Eruptions of this degree cause issues for jet-powered airplanes. Volcanic ash clouds consist of small tephra, which are bits of pulverized rock and glass. These are only distinguishable from regular clouds via satellites in space. When these rocks and glass are sucked into an airplane's jet engines, they melt and coagulate, fusing the blades and other parts of the turbine thereby causing engine failure. The eruption was the first for Pavlov since November 2014 and noted by the AVO as the most energetic since 1996. Pavlov is one of the most consistently active volcanoes in the Aleutian Arc. It has erupted six times since 1996 and 21 times in the past 50 years. Could a new volcano be forming in New Zealand? Scientists say a buildup of magma found near a small town in New Zealand is responsible for thousands of small earthquakes in the area. The presence of the magma could also mean that a new volcano will form above the Earth's surface. A huge magma buildup has been discovered on New Zealand's North Island, near the town of Matata, in the Topal Volcanic Zone. Scientists using GPS data and satellite images say the magma has caused a 400 square kilometer area of land to rise 40 centimeters since 1950. The magma probably also triggered thousands of small earthquakes in recent years that were previously attributed to tectonic shifts. The researchers claim there is enough magma located 10 kilometers beneath the town to fill 80,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The magma could cause a volcano to form but the process would take hundreds or thousands of years. It is also possible that over time, the magma may cool and solidify underneath the Earth. New Zealand is home to several active volcanoes, but there have been none near Matata for at least 400,000 years. So maybe it's time for Matata's 650 residents to start considering a move. Giant magma reservoir found beneath Yellowstone supervolcano. A giant magma reservoir beneath the Yellowstone supervolcano has been discovered and mapped for the first time by scientists from the University of Utah. Scientists discovered a giant reservoir of magma beneath the Yellowstone supervolcano in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. Seismic waves sent out by earthquakes travel through hotter, molten material more slowly. Scientists used seismometers to measure the time these seismic waves took to pass through the molten material to calculate how much of it there is underground. The results show that the magma reservoir lies 12 to 28 miles beneath the supervolcano and has a volume of 11,000 cubic miles. The reservoir contains 98% solid rock and only 2% molten rock. The Yellowstone supervolcano has erupted three times in the last two million years, with its most recent eruption 640,000 years ago. 
Small volcanic eruptions may help slow down global warming. Scientists found that small volcanic eruptions release larger than expected amounts of a gas that cools the atmosphere and slows global warming. It has long been known that volcanic eruptions eject sulfur dioxide, an atmosphere cooling gas. However, scientists previously only took large scale eruptions into account when evaluating the impact of volcanic eruptions on global temperatures. During volcanic eruptions, sulfur dioxide is ejected into the upper atmosphere. When sulfur dioxide interacts with oxygen, it can form droplets of sulfuric acid, which can linger in the upper atmosphere for months. The sulfuric acid, which deflects sun rays, is stored at the intersection between the troposphere and stratosphere, about 10 to 15 kilometers above Earth. The past 15 years have seen significantly more small eruptions than the previous two decades, contributing to a slowdown in global warming. But this is expected to be a brief intermission, and temperatures are expected to rise faster in the future. Scientists at the University of Washington have discovered what they have dubbed a seismic scream that precedes explosive volcanic eruptions. Readings taken from Alaska's Redoubt volcano prior to a 2009 eruption recorded a series of tremors around two kilometers below the crater. This swarm of 1,600 or so drumbeat earthquakes took place in the 10 hours before the first explosion. The tremors then increased steadily in frequency and occurrence, eventually blurring into a continuous scream. The noise peaked around 30 seconds before the eruption. The scientists believe the sounds are caused by the rapid slipping of many small faults near the conduits of molten magma, as pressure builds up ahead of the eruption. See a story that really should be animated? Suggest stories to Tomo News Now!